Okay, so we are heading into Menards. Yes, I'm going to join the trend here and see if I can uh, see if our good Menards here in Michigan has decided to play ball and put the Halloween stuff out. Let's take a look and see what we can find. <laughs> So here we are, and it looks like we have contact in Michigan. Menards has the Halloween stuff out here. I'm gonna save the big boys for last. I know you guys have probably seen them already, but we're gonna get a good close look and try to get as much detail as we can. But let's take a look at some of the knickknacks. Looks like we've got a pumpkin hollow tree here, orange, and it looks like it is $59, and then there is one that is $89, and I'm wondering if one is bigger. Um, not sure. Then we also have the weeping willow, which we've seen quite a bit of. Uh, this guy looks like he is, uh, don't really see a height, but it looks like it's probably about like two and a half, maybe three feet. So this guy is going for $49.99. Got like the charred ash pile of skulls here. Let's see if there's a try me button. Yes, and the eyes have little red LEDs. This guy is $44.99, which isn't terrible. All right. And of course, we've got decorative bulbs, ornaments for those of you who have gotten into the uh, Halloween tree. trees here $14.99 they look pretty uh, they look pretty scant but uh, they do have those if you want to do something for your tabletop uh, it looks like we have these kind of uh, looks like a rat in a cage yeah there it is I think there's a famous song about a rat in a cage some kind of smashing pumpkins type of fiasco but here we are He's just a rat in a cage. And we've got all the uh, skeleton spiders. Just in case you never knew, spiders have skeletons. Don't refute it. Just go with it. They're $3.49. Nice, cool stuff for your desktop. Got uh, a snake skeleton. Is it me or does every living creature now have a skeleton? I think uh, even snails have skeletons now. We've got a little dragon. Actually, it's kind of cool. $2.99. Cool little dragon there. And then we have uh, a little skeleton of a rat, little raton. There you go. And then we've got uh, a unicorn skeleton. All right, just so you know, the magical unicorn has a skeleton. And then we've got uh, this owl. Actually, he's pretty cool. Kind of dig him. Wish he had like uh, LED eyes or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but these guys are $5.99. Pretty cool. And then we've got the bigger boys here. Uh, we've got, uh, looks like a Cerebus three-headed dog here skeleton and uh he is uh 72.99 i think that's a little steep but let's just see what he does see if we can get a yeah 
He is pretty cool. I will say that. He is pretty cool. I don't know if he's uh, 72 dollars cool, but he is pretty cool. I like the sculpt on him. Nice little detail. It actually looks pretty doggone cool. <laughs> no pun intended. Pretty doggone cool. There we go again. And then for you uh, tiny town enthusiasts, we've got uh, quite the collection. Uh, one thing I've noticed is Menards really has a good selection. Uh, if you're looking for the tiny towns here, uh, they've got like pretty much everything you can imagine you'll need to set your scene. And I'll try to get some prices on some of these units for you so you know. But just some pretty unique, cool looking pieces. I had saw this on someone else's video, but there is the bumper cars. I thought that was pretty sweet. And then uh, you've got the whole amusement park set up. You've got the uh, little cart. And you also have an amusement park ride. Pretty sweet. All right, here in the back up here, see if I can see any of the... Uh, as you can see, the prices are ranging anywhere from $79.99, $64.99, and $49.99 and I also saw $54.99 so you got a pretty good range based on what it is you're getting um, and here are some more pieces here but just really neat looking stuff here as you can see here but it seems like they've really gone out for the amusement park type theme here a lot of these seem like uh, kind of amusement park rides they're really cool Creepy house. I really like this piece here. This Boo Hotel. That is really cool. And then we've got kind of like this haunted house here. Super cool, man. The witch moon on top. And the detail is awesome. You've got the little water tower. And a little horse carriage and then we've got like kind of the TV snow globe here which I thought was pretty sweet here and I believe this piece here was at Cracker Barrel um, kind of the uh, Day of the Dead carriage here I believe they have the same piece at Cracker Barrel uh, so I can't tell you what the price is compared but here it is $54.99 I think it was about the same there may have possibly been more at Cracker Barrel I just can't remember so if you guys out there know uh, feel free to comment and let me know. I just can't remember what the actual price was. Uh, but they've got some really neat, really, really neat pieces here. Um, and as you can see, some more of the prices, they're still along that line. We do have some that go all the way down to $24.99. But it's anywhere between $24.99 all the way up to $74.99 for these pieces. And then, of course, you've got the decorative... I don't know if those are witch hats or... Halloween dunce caps. I'm not sure. You tell me. Weigh in. Drop in the comments and let us know what you think it is. I'm going to go on Halloween dunce cap. This goes to show you in my ignorance. I don't know what that is. Okay. Moving on here, we've got the skeletons here. Um, these are your five foot skeletons here. Uh, they've got a few different variations, one real pale, and then we've got one that's kind of a little more of a uh, tan, kind of yellowish. Um, weird thing is, for some reason, this one is $59.99, the one that's a little more tan and yellowish, and the other one is $49.88. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Let's be real here. Go to Home Depot. Uh, these guys are $30. And at the most, for their unique ones, they're about $35. Bucks. So save your money. Save your money on that. Uh, we've got some kind of little Reapers. Some hangable Reapers here. $10.99, which is actually not a, not a bad price point at all. Um, so those are great for our porch hangs and some tree hangs and things of that nature. You can even put them indoors, too, if you want to do that. And they uh, come nice and balled up for you. 
All right. And we got some Hello Fall stuff here. So if you got the vintage cat here for you guys who are going hard on the vintage stuff, you know, just reminding me of my traumatic childhood. But there is a vintage cat. I think I remember being in grade school and having to color those and having contests and things of that nature. We've got some of the smaller skeletons here too as well. Uh, these guys uh, are about uh, 1347. Um, so if you wanted to use a smaller scale down skeleton here, you've got a few here. And then they get really, really tiny. If you want to set some scenes and do some miniature, you know, productions, you've got these here. They're $3.99. And then, of course, you've got your little cutesy guys here that you, you know, I'm pretty sure you remember seeing these guys in the classroom. We've got the mummy, the skeleton. Boy, that takes me back. There's the witch. Yep, I remember seeing stuff like this in classrooms on the teacher's walls when they would pass out those scratch and sniff stickers. If some of you are old enough to remember that, I'm dating myself, but uh, good times, good times. Okay. And I am dropping stuff here. Uh, pick that up <laughs> all right guys I'm pretty excited this is the first Halloween action we've had for for a while here so um, we've also got some of the cool decorative signs for your porch and hearth if you want to do that kind of stuff here got the nice big beware sign happy Halloween and uh, we've got a harvest so there's a little bit of fall and Halloween mixed in here Guys, tell me, are you as excited as I am? I'm just happy to see this stuff. It's just nice to know that we are entering into this time. Beware, Wicked Witch and her little monsters live here. Our monsters aren't little anymore. They're grown, so I almost can't relate. They're just grown monsters now. Apple Orchard. These are pretty cool. These kind of 10 signs. Beware. Let's see what they've got behind that. Uh, happy Haunting. I like that. It's pretty cool. These are $12.99, and these are kind of your aluminum type tins. Very cool. I'm going to turn around here. And then we've got a lot of more of the fall stuff, you know. I'm not going to not going to lie to you guys here. I want to make sure I get some of this for everybody to take a look at, but I truly am here for the Halloween stuff, but I'm going to be patient and I'm going to make sure I capture as much as I can for you guys. We got the gnomes for those who are crazy about the gnomes. We've got a nice little collection here for you. And then we've got the decorative pumpkins. If you wonder if Jamie trained me, the fact that I'm filming this part is proof that Jamie is training me. This Jamie loving all seasons. She would disapprove if I didn't capture some of this. So, on behalf of my lovely wife, I'm going to make sure I capture all of the action. Got a blow mold pumpkin there. That has also been coming back like a crazy storm. These are kind of cool. The pumpkin candy treats twisted up. It's pretty sweet. Now guys, I may be in trouble because I actually went to order food and I walked into Menards. So what is the chances that my food is finished and here I am looking at all of the October and fall goodness here. Taking it in and all the excitement that comes with it. Can't help myself. Gotta do it. Been waiting for this moment.
So we've got everything here we've been looking at so far range anywhere from $7.99 all the way up to $16.99 for these canisters. Uh, the pumpkins range from $12.99 to $16.99. And then you've got your ceramic ones that are $9.99. Now um, the blow mold is uh, $24.99. I'm pretty sure some people who saw that blow mold are going to be like, what was the price on that? And then we got that big canister. I guess it's not bad here. Uh, $24.99 for this metal milk can canister, you know, jack o' lantern type setup here. Not a bad thing if you're into that. And then the uh, pumpkins we looked at earlier, those were a little more expensive, but they seem like they're like almost like a wood texture. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're kind of like a wood. I don't think it's a resin. Um, our MDF, so it is, uh, yeah. Uh, that's fiberboard, so so it's kind of wood-like, but these are going to be $19.99, so $20, and then the smaller versions are $8.99, so, and your gnomes are also $8.99, so there you go, okay? And then we also have some of the smaller Something Wicked This Way Comes signs, Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat. Pumpkin Patch, Grab Life by the Broom, and I believe that says Boo. These are all $7.99. Kind of like your little framed artworks that you can hang up in the kitchen or anywhere you choose. Your office, got some welcome signs, and then there's Blessed. Okay, Grateful. This is definitely more along the fall line here. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Gather grateful hearts. Sweet fall. And then uh, we've got, looks like a little uh, nice little wooden pumpkin here. He's $12.99. Along with your ease on down the road welcome scarecrow. And uh, we also have a jack o' lantern, it looks like. Also, $12.99. Those are kind of cool. All right, let's see what else we have here. And what kind of person would I be if I didn't show you the pillows? I won't be that person. I'll show you the pillows. Ooh. Grateful. All right, we're gonna start getting into some of the other items we have here. There's more fall. Uh, we've got some scarecrow type figures here. They're actually $8.99 according to the board here, but you got like a little witch, some Raggedy Ann type scarecrows, and a uh, pretty ghost. Uh, he's pretty cute. This ghost, I don't think he could scare anybody. Look at those rosy cheeks. He's only scaring himself with his own cuteness. Anyway, and then we've got more of your fall scarecrows. Um, Happy Harvest. These guys are $49.99. A little more intricate, bigger setup here. All right. And then... Uh, Am I seeing a snowman? I'm not sure what this guy is here. If he's a snowman, you're, you're a premature guy. You're, you're, you're crashing the party here. But I think that is a snowman. I'm gonna call party foul on that. You have no business here, snowman. You shall not pass. And we've got some of the knit pumpkins. Uh, Jamie would be foaming at the mouth over these. $12.99, kind of rattan type knit pumpkins. And then we've got more of our uh, Scarecrow, Raggedy Ann type uh, figures. $11.99 for the smaller scale and $14.99 for kind of the tweener, middle of the road. Okay. All right. We're going to turn out see what else we got here. And here is one of the big boys. This is the big 12-foot animated Reaper. And let's uh, see if we can give you... Uh, 
close in on his face. So that is a 12 foot Reaper. I gotta tell you, I'm not crazy with the sculpt. Um, a little misproportion, the hands are seem like they're too big. Uh, but in a pinch, you know, big, you can never go wrong with big. You know, they say, make people look up and give them a sense of epic grandeur. So, uh, that one is $399.99. Okay. We've got some of the pumpkin hollow inflatables here. $13.47. Got a little bit of a Yoda. We've got uh, a minion, a zombie minion it looks like. And there's Harry Potter. Harry. Hocus Pocus. My wife's favorite movie ever, Hocus Pocus. And then uh, we've got these silly Halloween flamingos. Flamingos have become pretty popular these days. Pretty, pretty wacky birds, but they are popular. There's that. And then um, this is the uh, blow mole sign, the jack-o'-lantern blow mole sign. This guy is $69.99. That's kind of cool. Um, by the way, the Spooky Mingos, as they're called, Spooky Mingos. That's awesome. $13.47 for those. And then we've got this little blow mole skeleton guy. See him? Uh, he is $66.99. And then you got like what I believe is like a little resin lighted skeleton. It's pretty cool. Um, he is $49.99. Once again, there's this blow mold pumpkins. We know they were actually now, I, I stand corrected, that price is $54.99 as you see the arrow pointing down. So the $24.99 I looked at around the corner must have been for something different. So, but here are some of the smaller inflatables here. Looks like these are four footers. You got a little mummy, you've got a little peekaboo. A jack-o'-lantern with a little skeleton inside also four-footer you've got the uh, friendly trio of witch Frank and ghosts in the pumpkin that's a five foot tall and these range the mummy is $54.99 $79.99 on the skeleton and pumpkin and the uh, trio is $119.99 a little steep for that but uh, and then we've got uh, the dragon. He is $79.99. Actually, excuse me. Oh, there's two. There's a smaller version, which is, um, I don't know if he's the same one, but there is also another inflatable dragon here that's $149.99, but that one is eight foot tall, so they are not the same. So um, that dragon is $59.99. I'm blowing it with the prices, guys. Bear with me. Sorry about this. Alrighty. And then we also have the Skeleton Archway Reaper, $149.99. It's a little steep. Uh, there is a really, really cool Reaper arch on HalloweenCostumes.com. If you've seen it, it's actually really nice. And it's, I believe, 12 foot. Uh, and it's less than this. So I would definitely say... You would uh, be benefited to go the other way on that one. All right, and then we've got some little guys here. These are the little uh, two and a half footers. It looks like you got a scarecrow, and we got a pretty creepy looking zombie girl with a teddy bear. And uh, if I didn't know any better, she probably tried to eat that teddy bear's brains and realized it was just stuffing. Right. Then we've got a little witch. I've seen this little dancing witch before. She's pretty popular. She's made her comeback here. Um, but that's that here. And then we've got uh, your reefs. Looks like mostly fall inspired reefs. They're $19.99. And forgive me, those little two and a half footers are $59.99 each. Okay. Wow. By the way, she has some big feet. Those are, those feet are huge. Those are some huge feet. Wow. 
Okay, anyway, we've got some tinsel characters here. So if you're doing your tree, you got some nice little tchotchkes to add in there. Uh, you've got like cats, hats, spiders, tombstones, rip signs. Okay, and as we come around, we've got a uh, pretty big dragon here. Game of Thrones vibes, anyone? Drogon, maybe? Maybe. Uh, Brimstone Dragon is $329.99. And he is 79 inches. So uh, somebody do the math for me here and let me know what that translates to in feet. I think it's eight feet, but don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. Maybe it's seven foot, seven and a half foot, maybe. And we've got the lanky werewolf. He's pretty cool looking. Let's see if I can set his sensor off. There he goes. He is $329.99. Um, little shout out to Haunting with Trish. This is one of her animatronics, and he's pretty cool looking. Alrighty, and there's that. And then we got kind of the more old school werewolf, the classic kind of old school guys. I don't know if you guys have ever saw the movie Werewolf with uh, Benicio del, del Toro. Um, I know not a lot of people like that, but I thought it was a killer movie because he just had that cool old school look, much like this guy right here. Kind of love that classic look and feel. He is $299.99. Okay. Just so you can get a, side, a, a scope of how big some of the boxes are. They're not too bad. Any of you who've taken home some of the Home Depot props, the boxes are not as big, but they're still pretty sizable. So just be, be uh, aware of that and mindful. If you have a small, smart car, it's going to be pretty rough riding. Okay. And then we've got the, probably my favorite, favorite of the Menards animatronics here is the Smoldering Ghoul. Um, I think he's definitely probably the coolest of all of them. I like his action. Um, his mold is, is decent, but uh, I think he's got a great look to him, and he's, uh, he's a big boy. He's a big boy, but I think he's my favorite out of all they've, they've put out here. I think this is probably their their, their gym here. And he's pretty imposing. Even his feet are charred. That would be cool if his feet did light up here. Since the rest of him lights up, that would be cool since his hands kind of light up too, as you can see. But he's pretty cool. And he is $349.99. So, there you have it. There's that guy. And some of the stuff here we have underneath, we'll get... A look at that we do have a collapsible pumpkin that I'm sorry guys that's obviously not a pumpkin I just saw the word pumpkin went right for it a collapsible coffin <laughs> and that is 1999 okay and then also you got little skull fences here uh, these are always great for if you're doing like little mini cemeteries these are awesome to do that you've got some tombstones here tombstones are $30, so I'm going to say they're a little pricey. Um, I'm going to say I think you can do better on that. Um, and then you have some smaller tombstones. Just to kind of get an idea. Let's see. Oh, I get it. So it's a three-pack. So that's what you're paying for. You're paying for a three-pack. Okay. Okay. And this one is one, but it's a pretty thick tombstone, so I get I get why they're asking what they're asking for it. It's pretty thick. So, uh, and let's see here, does it light up? Yes, it does light up. It's got a light up feature. So, there's that. And then, then you have a smaller tombstone here. There's two of these for $8.99. Um, and I'd say that's about what you should pay $8.99 for those guys as you can see um, real bad paint job 
on those. And it's the, uh, it's the really cheap foam, so. And there's that. Okay. And then you've got a lot of cool stuff here. You've got your string lights. Um, uh, these are $16.99. Um, and it looks like you get 10 of them. And these vintage light bulbs are pretty cool. They've got the vintage light bulbs, $19.99. Uh, also a 10 light setup too as well. And then you've got your typical uh, Halloween light setups here. They're $7.85. Guess that's pretty decent for 100 mini lights. Not horrible. And then there's the uh, the eyeballs. Somebody's always putting those in the bushes. Can't help but to go for that. And uh, then you've got some of the blow molds here. You've got the uh, skeleton here. I think these are for lamp posts. If I didn't know any better, are these for putting on lamp posts? It looks like they are. Yeah, porch light cover. So these are for putting on lamp posts, and they light up. So. That way you can dress up your outdoor lights and exterior lights. That's exactly what this pumpkin is and that's what that skull is. So those are your light covers. Okay. And then we've got some of the cool little uh, solar lights here. $7.99, I don't know if that's $7.99 each. I'm assuming, yep, that is $7.99 each. For the little solar lights, it's kinda cool. They got like little ghosts. Then there's a little orange one in the back here, if you can see, kind of a little jack-o'-lantern. So those are pretty cool. And then you've got some other solar lights here, kind of pathway markers. Those are kind of cool. And then you've got these little silhouette lights. These are pretty neat, 10 bucks each. And you've got a jack-o'-lantern skeleton and a ghost. And then you've got another solar light. This is actually kind of cool. This uh, 19, actually, I'm sorry, 9.99. These are uh, your uh, skulls. And there you have it. Very cool. And then you've got a, a lot of the cool um, small little uh, projection lights that you can put faces and little witches. And then there's also the door, eyeball, and mouth, which I think is kind of cool. And your little world of motions. Okay. You've got a fog machine with a timer here. It's $59.99. Uh, what is the wattage on it? It doesn't tell us what the watts are. So we don't know. But I'm going to assume this is probably a 400 watt. More than likely. So straight. You got your fog juice here. Just your regular stuff here. Um... I was kind of digging this witch here. She actually is kind of cool here. 149. She's a six footer. Um, I didn't get to see. I think she's posable. Um, but she's cool. We are actually looking for a witch this year. We have not been able to. We weren't able to secure our witch at Home Depot. But we're going to wait and see if the second wave here provides us an opportunity. Uh, but we, we, we definitely need a witch in our setup here. We've also got a Grim Reaper here, uh, which is not on display. He's six foot tall as well as the witch. These he is $129.99. I did see him in action here. Um, yeah, I would say he's probably more $99 worthy. Um, but the witch, not so bad. I kind of dug her. Alright, so there's that here. And let's see what else we have here. And guys, I apologize. I realized that I had a ghost in our midst here and I didn't even stop to uh, see what he does. I don't think he's working, but it's like a little, uh, little three foot ghost or two and a half foot ghost. And you also have like a cool little reaper. These guys are $79.99. I think I may have completely missed those in my uh, insanity. I'm trying to see if there is a, a way to. I'm not having any luck here.
nope I'm not sure what I'm supposed to press here but they uh, as you can see looks like he lights up here not sure what he does but I don't think any of them are working but they're kind of cool I love the little trick-or-treat bag that they have another thing that I miss is I had these last year I really kind of dig these guys um, they're like little lawn stakes and I wouldn't mind getting some more of them I, I really liked them they were pretty cool nice little look matter of fact some of the ones I had were getting pretty flimsy so I might end up grabbing a few of these to take home with me so I'm not regretting that I didn't get them later